with your eyes, your special eyes. You're not gonna believe what we're testing out today. Or maybe you will believe it. Is it that fantastical? I don't know. I just realized that this would probably be the first video ever that I didn't start with. Hey everybody, it's Bunny. So I felt like I should just stick that in here for good measure. Also, I hope you guys cannot hear a tiny little whizzing, whirring, blowing sound down here, but I have my space heater on right now because somehow it's like 92 degrees in Texas and I'm still cold. What is life? What is earth? We may never know. Today's video, of course, is going to be a first impression Friday on a product I have been so excited to test out. It has taken me many months to be able to purchase both of these items. These are the makeup markers by Milk. That's a mouthful. Basically, they look kind of like highlighters to me or magic markers and they apply either your eyeliner or your lipstick. This is terribly out of focus right now, but this is how they came to me from Sephora. The packaging actually feels rubberized literally as if it was a highlighter. I've never tried any of their products before, but I've always been intrigued by the brand. Shrimply because of the packaging, they do have some very ingenious and eye-catching. Oh my gosh, these smell really weird. I have always been intrigued by this brand. It's fairly new. I think it just launched late last year. I have never tried any of their products before, except for the sample. If you watched my April Sephora Play unboxing, there was a facial oil that came in that box. So I did sample that, but I've never had a full-size milk product. Nobody cares about that. I have on all of my makeup today, except for my eyeliner and a lip color and my mascara because I have to put on eyeliner before mascara. Is anybody else like that? These are $20 a piece and I got both of them from Sephora. I'm sure you can get them from Milk's website as well, but I tend to purchase things off of Sephora because I get the VIB Rouge points from there. Lord even knows what that does though. So far, all those points I've racked up have accomplished nothing. Here is an up close view of the eye marker. Once again, it looks like a freaking felt tip chisel tip Sharpie. I'm not exactly sure if this is product leakage or what is going on with the tip here. I'm trying to wipe it with my finger and none of it, oh, it did come off, but yet no color is transferring to my finger. What's going on there? This shade is called Black Sheep. I love that name. I identify with that. I always love it when products are named after me. Just kidding, but it is highly applicable. I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch on the back of my hand. Ooh, just like a marker. Looks slick, just like a marker. Feels like a marker. Literally, it feels like a marker. Like, I don't know about you guys, but basically all throughout my entire school career, being like a baby in school and then into big old scary adulthood as a high schooler, I used to always just draw all over myself with pins and Sharpies and magic markers and highlighters, pretty much if it had ink on it. And if I had skin that day, I was just going like that. Let's use the skinny side. Woo! Little messy, but that's just because I don't know what I'm doing yet. But it does draw on pretty easy. Right now, I am using it like this in a sideways sweeping motion, and I'm getting pretty good line action. Can you guys see this? Can you see it? Can you see it? The inside corner of the eye is like Death Valley. Does anybody else feel like that? Like I feel like all the other eyeliner, all the wingy stuff, that is easy. But like if I'm trying to do the inner corner of my eye, that ain't never gonna look good. I need a sippy sippy. And help from the angels. Angels, please help me. Oh, is that a spider on my ceiling? Look at that. I love spiders. Spiders are good luck. Don't kill them please. Now I'm going to try and flip it and do the chisel tip and we'll see. Oh, okay. That's kind of all wang. 
It's not that bad, honestly. I thought that maybe this would be a little tricky. The chisel tip actually makes it very easy to do a wing. And just the ergonomics of like you're used to maybe drawing or writing with a marker, it just makes it so much easier. I don't know, I feel like this is unlike any other eyeliner I have ever tried before because it's not really like a felt tip. Does it say that it's a felt tip before I say something stupid? It does not feel like a felt tip, nor does it wear like a felt tip. I'm not gonna call it a felt tip. It just feels exactly like a marker. Just imagine drawing on your eyeball with a marker, but just don't do it, but just imagine it. That's what it feels like. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna try and I'm gonna just gonna try and draw this on really quick and then I will check back in with you guys. Here is my completed look and like all makeup I ever do on this channel, the further away that I am from you, the better that it looks, right? Can we all agree on that? Cause like if I'm way back here, you're probably like, oh my God, bunny, your eyeliner looks so great. And I'd be like, yeah, it does. But like the closer that you get, to me, you can tell that it's not 100% perfect. This side, which is the first side we just did, I think turned out pretty swell. But then I think I got a little bit overconfident, a little bit overzealous on this side, and I just kind of like went to town and like went at it really fast. So I'm sure you guys can see that on like the underside of my eye, I kind of like, I did too much. I went like beyond the eye. And also I feel like this side for some unknown reason is a little bit shakier looking. It is exceptionally easy to use. It feels very comfortable. I think the more that you practice, as long as you don't pull a bunny and just go at it too fast, it's gonna look pretty swell. I just kind of wonder like how much product is in here, you know? Moving on to the lip marker, which I am very excited about. So this is the red shade and it is called Boss. Don't like the name of that as much as Black Sheep, but hey, in the words of Mick Jagger, you can't always get what you want. I didn't name it. They didn't ask me. I am concerned about how opaque this is gonna be. I'm also uh, pretty flippin' quick to judge on a red lipstick. I am very, very, very particular about like, is it red enough? Is it opaque enough? It's a very faint smell. I can't really pick up on what it is. I don't wanna say no smell because it smells like maybe there just is a little bit of a smell, but I can't like put my finger on it. And it's not really fragrant enough that I would think that you would notice but maybe when I put it on my mouth, I will feel differently. So there is a swatch on my hand and that does look like a very pretty red shade, but I will just say it doesn't look very opaque to me or as opaque as I want my red lipstick to be. So right now, I'm sure most of you guys think that I have foundation all over my lips, but nay my dear friends. What I have on my lips is the Stila Water Moisturizing Lip Primer. I am obsessed with it. It does kind of block out my lips and make it look like I have foundation on my mouth, but it's just a primer. So I'm going to wipe that off so that we can get a true feel for what the product will look like with no other product on my mouth. Wiping my mouth on a t-shirt. That's how we do it on the swamp. I am a little bit nervous about how neat the application will be using a marker to draw on my lips. Ew, okay. This is not as easy to apply. I feel like I'm just like, eh, what's going on here? Just as I'm applying it, I feel like it's not, you know, A, it's applying like a very small chunk or section at a time. Ooh, I look like a vampire. <laughs> I feel like I'm just kind of like poking my lip. Literally 11 minutes later, I finally have gotten the lip product totally applied. And I also went ahead and threw on some mascara because I feel like that was probably bugging some of you guys. So I stopped filming the lip application process because it started taking so long that literally my camera began to overheat. I, ooh, I'm not that crazy about this lip marker, honestly. It is not as friendly 
of an application process as the eyeliner, even though it is in the same kind of chisel tip shape. I feel like for eyeliner, that's very convenient. And for some reason, this glides very easily, whereas this does not. It's not a very comfortable application process. I will just say that. It's not like I'm crying and I'm like, oh my God, it's so painful. I have to stop. But it's just kind of like not a very comfortable feeling. In order to press hard enough to apply the product in a pigmented way, you really do kind of have to like push and drag into your lips. I mean, that was exaggeratory, but I mean, you do have to apply pressure and you know, this is like a chisel tip marker. So it, it's not a forgiving applicator at all. And it's not very soft. So I just kind of feel like I'm just like rubbing a marker on my mouth. I mean, I should have known that that's what it was going to be like. I feel like it didn't apply that crisply. I'm not sure if crisply is an appropriate word or not, but it's very difficult to get a exact line with this product to line your lips if you haven't already used another lip liner. It's not a felt tip in my opinion, but like a felt tip product, you know, where sometimes it can vein out or spread just a little bit. I feel like this lends itself to that. It's very easy to get out of bounds. And uh, the other thing that I'm kind of not crazy about is I feel like it doesn't give you a universal color, if that makes any sense. It does tend to look a little bit patchy. It seems like it's depositing more color on certain parts of my lips and is showing a little bit lighter or not as opaque on other parts of my lips. I really do love the color though. I can definitely see myself continuing to use this product, especially if I'm on the go or I need to touch up my red lip. I generally layer like three or four products always to get my perfect signature red lip. So, you know, if I had just gone out to lunch or whatever, and you know, like the top layer of my lip color had been rubbed off, but I still had the lip liner on, I could definitely see myself taking this product and kind of filling in the patchy areas and kind of like reviving my red lip, but I do not see myself using this as a standalone product. I don't feel like it's a bad product. I just don't feel like I enjoy the marker application as much in a lip as I do in an eye. For $20, I kind of don't feel like I would repurchase this lip item, but it is also a fun and interesting product. It's not like I hate it. That is it for today. And I know this video was probably a little bit on the longer side. I can talk for a million years about anything like phone books or zoo animals. I don't know. I can just talk your head off about anything. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and for hanging out with me. If y'all have seen an item or a makeup product that you would like for me to test out here on First Impression Fridays, please leave it as a comment down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!